Hey guys, Evelina Damore here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a little video to showcase my gorgeous pendants. When I filmed my question and answer video, which recently went up on my channel, a lot of you were asking if um, I was going to be doing jewelry in future collabs and um, I actually already have some jewelry. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to do a little showcase and show you, yeah, what's available. Um, let me know in the comments below which you think are your favorites and head on over to my website if you wanna um, check them out or buy one yourself. If you do pick one up, send me a photo and tag me in it on Instagram. I'd love to see you babes wearing these. They're so very gorgeous. Yeah, so I've actually got five pendants available and they each have my artwork as the centerpiece. So this one here is my artwork called Rest in Peace. I really like that one because it kind of sits like a traditional cameo with the rose being the main feature of that artwork. That's like a really romantic kind of classic design and I wear this one quite a lot and they're, they're not expensive like they're $34.95 at my online store and they're all solid stainless steel and yeah, my name's like engraved on the back there and they even come with a really solid snake chain. Let's see if we can get. Yeah, I think that's like 22 centimeters. It's on my website. I, I can't remember, but yeah, and it's also um, adorned with marcasite. I'll get some close up so you can see that. And there's five different pendants as well. So this one, can you see that one? Yeah, that one is my artwork, Immortal Beloved. So that's a lovely husband and wife couple that I worked with, Chris Poison and her husband, Blake Blood. That one, I, I really love that one. It's just, again, I'm gonna say it's romantic. Each one's romantic, but yeah, it's like vampiric. Yeah, romantic. So anyone that hasn't found love yet, maybe this pendant will, will bring you um, good luck in that department. But yeah, so that one's Immortal Beloved. We also have Carpathian Kiss with the same two beautiful people on it. Isn't that gorgeous? So he's biting her in the neck there. Mmm, tasty. This is my artwork, The Deadly Departed. So that was inspired by Lucy Weston from um, Dracula. Maybe she's just been turned. We don't know what's going on there. Maybe she's just had her first feed. Um, she's like, you know, oh, I'm a vampire. Look at my breast. As you do. <laughs> so yeah, that is also one of my favorites. <laughs> And this one is Angel of Death. Whoop! So she's got the angel wings on there. She is topless, but look, you can't really tell because it's so tiny. <laughs> so that one's really cool as well. And purple for a bit of color. And they all ship in these gold, look how lovely that is, metallic printing of my name. Yeah, so $34.95, they make a good gift for yourself or your friend. So yeah, go and check them out. I just thought I should tell you guys that like I have these products because like I kept getting asked, oh, will you do jewelry? And I'm like, I already have. Um, and I don't think I will do more jewelry in the future because there's so many people like this lovely necklace that I'm wearing now, which was gifted to me from Mamishka and these little bat earrings, which are from Halloween, H-E-L-L 13, Halloween 13. Um, they were also gifted to me. There's so many people out there doing it like probably better than I would do. So I'm like, I can't compete with that. <laughs> I'm happy sticking to handbags and yeah, I've got a whole bunch of clothing on my website as well. So my idea is to gradually kind of do little reviews like I've done with the, the jewelry to show you all what I have available. Yeah, I was kind of really unprepared today. I just did a live IG feed and it took me a really long time to do this makeup. So let me know what you think. <laughs> And then I kind of sat down. I've got an hour and a half before I need to pick up my kids. And I'm like, what am I going to film? Really unprepared. I did give a little update in the live IG feed that Dre Renane's bag has been completed. So we have finalized her design. It's going to be a mini backpack, which at first you'll see in the video, because I did film our Skype video. I was like, oh, backpack, yuck. Um, but then she said mini backpack. I'm like, what is this? Um, so I didn't actually, I didn't know it was a thing. I had to like educate myself. And I was like, oh, they're super cool. They're super cute and they're mini. And if you guys are like me, if you like shiny things and small things, um, you're gonna find this absolutely adorable. So yeah, I showed it to her just the other day. We made a few little tweaks and now we're both really happy with it. And we're going to get the sample started ASAP. Yes, it does have her trademark black and white stripes. So that's going to be really exciting. So yeah, at the end of my last um, question and answer video, I did say I was going to talk a little bit at the end of each video about what's happening on my face. Cause I do, you know, get some questions about that. On my lips today, I used Astralis Velour Lips in black. This was 
was given to me by my best friend Lisa because she ended up with two for some reason. Strangely enough, it is the only black liquid lipstick I own. What the hell? Um, if you guys can recommend in the comments below some really good brands to try because I am loving the black lips. Yeah, I don't know if this was just like open or it's old. <laughs> I don't know. But it's, it was really hard to apply and quite thick. So yeah, not really too much of a fan of that. For my eyes, I did start with the NYX White Eyeshadow Primer. I find when I'm doing a really vibrant color that just makes it pop. And again, I only recently discovered that that actually exists. Um, and yeah, I've used Coastal Scents. I don't know what the colors are because this is a little custom four color eyeshadow tin. <laughs> I don't know, just go to their website and they're really reasonably priced. A lot of my brushes are from Coastal Scents. And yeah, I just um, chose two of the most vibrant reds I could find. And I put on top Concrete Minerals Pro Matte Eyeshadow, woo, in Risqué. And that just really makes it pop. So I was quite happy with the intensity of that makeup. So yeah, let me know if you like this makeup look. Let me know if you'd like me to do like a little one minute snippet at the end of my videos um, on what I'm wearing. I would like to make my channel a little bit more geared up towards makeup because obviously it's something I'm highly interested in. Again, I'm not a makeup artist, but you guys seem to like what I do. I enjoy doing it. So, you know, why not share it with you? Can I just say that the purple of the Angel of Death pendant completely matches my Ray Ray bag. <gasps> they were made to be worn together. The rest of the video will be showcasing the pendants. Thanks for watching.